let me tell you a little story before i show you this new model the year was 2013 in the chinese city of shanghai a small team launched a platform where users could capture and share their lives through photos text videos and live streams building an interactive community around shared interest it was a garage like project but it really really blew out and that is what you are watching on your screen the project was called as high lab at that time and the company behind this project was red note in english or it was called as zhao hongshou in chinese i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing it right but if you are chinese please correct me in the comments anyway this red note high lab high lab team where high stands for humane intelligence is dedicated to pushing the boundaries of ai now and that is where they have released these two new models which one is the base one and the other one is instruction tuned the model is called as dots dot llm1 it is the open source 142 billion parameter model and that is what we are going to check out in this video this is fahad mirza and i welcome you to the channel before i show you the model let's talk a bit more about this because i think there is one area where they have done wonderfully well and i will talk about it later down the road now this dots dot llm1 model is a large scale mixture of expert language model developed by red note high lab that achieves strong performance while maintaining computational efficiency the model has 142 billion total parameters but activates only 14 billion parameters for each input token delivering performance comparable to much larger models like 2.572 billion while significantly reducing training and inference costs the model uses a decoder only transformer architecture with mixture of expert layers and i will be talking more about the architecture but let me tell you what i believe is one of the unique feature of this model which i haven't really seen anywhere else this model was pre-trained on 11.2 trillion high quality tokens using a sophisticated three-stage data processing pipeline document preparation rule-based processing and model-based processing notably no synthetic data was used during pre-training so 11.2 trillion non-synthetic data this is huge i think they are using the data from their own social media platform so just imagine starting from 2013 this is 2025 maybe they started last year so it is more than 10 year worth of data from the you know billions of people in china or maybe across the world so that is why i am so excited to test out this model for that you would just need to go to either their website or i think for us who are outside of china maybe this hacking space face which they have shared makes makes sense so let me run the first prompt so i'm asking it that a cylindrical water tank has a radius of three meters and height of eight meters water is being pumped in at two cubic meters per minute so this whole question if you read through it this is checking the mathematical and logical reasoning so let me run this and as it is a publicly available space sometimes i have seen that it just throttles or maybe gives you a response back pretty late but anyway you can already see that it has gone right into it it is reasoning through it step by step chain of thought look at this so all of the steps it is doing quite nicely it has created the equation it has come up with some of its own values and it has already given us the final answer which is correct it is verifying it and then this is the conclusion differential equilibrium and this one so this is i believe um spot on answer really really good stuff okay next up let's check out some of the problem solving so i'm asking it to design me a mars habitat 
for 50 people that must operate for five years independently handle dust storms lasting three plus months recycle 95 percent of water and air produce 80 percent of food locally and maintain psychological well-being in isolation you have a 500 ton mass budget delivered via 10 cargo mission so let's run this while it generates let's talk a bit more about uh, some of the architecture which i really really am interested to show you now from the architectural perspective the model uses a decoder only transformer architecture with mixture of expert layers replacing traditional feed forward network each moe layer contains 128 routed experts plus two shared experts that are always activated for each token the router selects the top six isolated experts along with two shared experts resulting in eight active experts per token the model uses multi-head attention with QK norm for training stability and uses an auxiliary loss-free load balancing strategy to prevent routing collapse and ensure efficient expert utilization across 62 layers. There is a lot of other details which they have shared around benchmarking. So I'm just going to give you a very quick overview instead of going into the detail. The model shows competitive performance across multiple domains while using significantly fewer active parameters than comparable models. In Chinese language task, it has beaten all of the rest of the Chinese models. It has even beaten um, Quen 2.5, 72 billion and various other Alibaba's model and really, really comes close to DeepSeek uh, V2 base, especially in some of the benchmark, it has even beaten DeepSeek. So this model, uh, so other Chinese models like DeepSeek and Quen are beating rest of the world. This model has beaten its, you know, DeepSeek and Quen Chinese model. So this model really, really holds some serious potential, I can tell you. The cost performance ratio, if you look at it, it is way better than DeepSeek and Quen. And if you remember due to the all the restrictions on GPU card and all that stuff, they are coming up with new ways of training their model, especially DeepSeek. But this model is showing even better cost uh, performance ratio than DeepSeek. So you can imagine maybe they are using some sort of other trickery around their training process. If you look at this diagram, this shows you the training infrastructure where it uses an innovative interleaved 1F1B one forward one backward pipeline. This is what I was talking about. But let me First, take you back. Let's check out its response, and then we will uh, come back to this one. So this was our, our question. It has planned it well. You can see that whatever I gave it in text, it has diced it. That these are the key requirements. Then overall architecture design that it should be modular, inflatable, and rigid. And look at the layout, shape, floor plans, life support system. A very high quality response and then it is talking about power generation emergency protocol about dust storm life support social and psychological that okay recreation vr gym this virtual reality gym because the usual um, recreation of earth won't work there so look at this hydroponic gardening maybe i could do that with my neighbor Movie nights, that's a good one. Mental health, you know, AI plus earth based therapist. This is a good one. Green rooms. So, look, I think um, I'm very, very impressed by this model. Really, really good stuff. Okay, let's check out another prompt. And for the next prompt, if you know me, you know that I might encounter some issues like I do at in Earth. So, let's suppose I'm at Mars and I have this problem that whenever I perform routine maintenance on the external solar panel arrays at Mars Base Epsilon, my fellow colonist Alex, a stunning 27-year-old atmospheric technician who just ended their seventh rotation partnership, starts doing uh, her low-gravity acrobatics in the adjacent dome, wearing their form-fitting environmental suit. I'll just change it to her. And every time she bounces off the dome walls, she flashes me a playful signal 
through their helmet visor. I'm genuinely enjoying these moments of human connection in our isolated environment, but I have started checking the solar panels twice daily now, and my supervisor is questioning why I am logging so many unnecessary EVS when the power systems are running perfectly. Plus, I am burning through our limited EVS suit maintenance cycles. How do we handle this attraction while maintaining colony protocols and not wasting precious resources on Mars? Let's see what model comes up with. While it prints the response, let's talk a bit more about this. Okay, now, as I said, I think this is one of the cool thing, second cool thing after the non-synthetic data. So this training infrastructure uses an innovative interleaved 1F, 1B, one forward, one backward pipeline scheduling strategy that overlaps communication and computation to improve efficiency. This approach adds an additional step to the warm-up phase without incurring extra memory overhead or bubble penalties. During the steady 1F, 1B phase, all-to-all -all communication for the mixture of expert layers can be effectively overlapped with forward and backward computation that primarily reduces training time while maintaining memory efficiency compared to alternative approaches like dual pipe. And I think if we combine this with uh, deep seeks training strategy, which I already have discussed in the other videos, this could be a real huge thing, really. I mean, it, it might really bring down the cost of training considerably low. There you go. Now look at the response of the model. It is saying uh, Mars base Epsilon, where the solar panels are pristine, the gravity is low and human connection is rare. So it is understanding the situation and it is telling it's a tricky balancing this professional protocol with undeniable allure of a fellow colonist. So you see, it, it has got a very, very fine language skills. So acknowledge the attraction, but don't obsess. How can that be? And it is saying how you know, Alex acrobatics are for their own sanity as for yours. Redirect your maintenance energy. Instead of doubling up on solar panel checks, find other ways to interact with Alex. So very nice. Talk to Alex casually. And then it has even given me the script that I have noticed you have been doing the acrobatics, all that good stuff. Set boundaries, file alternative to EVS, remember the mission, consider the long game. Final thought, your attraction is a beautiful reminder of what it means to be human, even on Mars. But the key is to channel it in a phase that don't compromise the mission. Now go recalibrate those solar panels and your priorities. It has ended it in a very, very fine way. Let's check out the multilinguality. So I'm asking it to translate I love you into 50 languages, which are the top 50 languages of the world in terms of the number of speakers. Okay, now let's check this multilinguality. And if I check English, looks good. Chinese, Hindi, Spanish, I'm just going through it. And if you are that language native speaker, please also confirm. I think it is doing wonderful job in all the languages. And this covers almost all the languages across the globe. And there are some regional languages too. So I believe, maybe I'm not sure about the Romanian, but other than that, a real, real good stuff. Okay, next up, let's check out this coding question where I am asking it to create me a fireworks in a self-contained HTML file. Let's check it out. And this is what model has generated just in a self-contained one. And it has even given us the mode at the top right. If I click here, it also starts generating it. I am clicking rapidly and a lot of fireworks is happening. And it is most uh, even compatible for your mobile mode. So look, really, really good effort by this red note. No doubt about that. And before I let you go, let me introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation, task automation, and world simulation. If you like the content, please like the video, share it. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.